Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Devotions. Pastor Steve here walking with you in God's Word, meditating upon God's Word with you. Psalm chapter 26. And so whether you open up your Bible or whether you just close your eyes and hear this appeal, hear this prayer, hear this conversation of David with his God, it's something amazing to be able to behold. Actually, it's connected through these next Psalms. Psalm 26, 27, and 28 really a package deal where we get to see uh, David being able to lean on the glory of God that dwells within his house. He's appealing to him. He's praying to him. He's actually then being able to say, uh, what does this look like towards crying towards it in 28 and and 27, uh, just being able to be amazed by the house of the Lord and the power and the glory that is dwelling there. The presence of God is there. And as we get to have the presence of God, we get to see the glory of God. And David knows that well, so he's putting himself before the throne of God. Psalm chapter 26. I just want to give you a little bit of precourse here of being able to know that when he says, I have led a blameless life, life. David is certainly not speaking towards a sinless life, but rather he's one of moral integrity. He's one who's actually walking in the decrees of God, walking in the ways of the Lord, not in a perfect way, but in a way especially relative and comparing to the wickedness and evil around him. And so as he's appealing before the Lord to be able to have mercy that the house of the Lord would have mercy on those who he has called into his household. He is having that incredible relative truth that he's walking in a way with the heart of the Lord. He's walking in that way in the ways of the Lord, especially compared to those. And so as the Lord sees that, may he have mercy, may he have understanding, and may he actually just deliver his presence alongside of David. An incredible appeal, prayer, conversation with God. So let's meditate upon these words of David. Vindicate me, O Lord, for I have led a blameless life. I have trusted in the Lord without wavering. Test me, O Lord, and try me. Examine my heart and my mind. For your love is ever before me, and I walk continually in your truth. I do not sit with deceitful men, nor do I consort with hypocrites. I abhor the assembly of evildoers and refuse to sit with the wicked. I wash my hands in innocence and go about your altar, O Lord, proclaiming aloud your praise and telling of all your wonderful deeds. I love the house where you live, O Lord, the place where your glory dwells. Do not take away my soul along with sinners, my life with bloodthirsty men, in whose hands are wicked schemes, whose right hands are full of bribes. But I lead a blameless life. Redeem me and be merciful to me. My feet stand on level ground. In the great assembly, I will praise God the Lord. I don't think I've ever prayed (laughs) to the Lord, and that's just the faith that David has, that that's just the relationship he has with the Lord, and so it convicts me, but also actually challenges me a little bit in Psalm 26 here where he says, test me, O Lord, try me. Test me, try me amazing relationship of being able to say, you can put me to the test. I am your child. You can put me to the test. You can try me. You can, as it says here, examine my heart and my mind. I'm not saying that I'm perfect, but I've walked after your ways, especially compared to the evildoers and the wicked. I'm not sitting with them. I'm actually walking in a repentful life. May we say that same thing, but May we call upon that spirit to actually live that life. 
Test me, try me, examine my heart, Lord. In that we just want to walk in your ways, not in a perfect way. We know we're not going to be perfect. But in a way of the Spirit, not according to the sinful flesh. Let us not sit in our sin, but rather call upon the Spirit of the Lord to vindicate us, test us, but then just put us into the place of your glory. I'd rather sit in the house of my Lord in his glory a thousand years than one day in the seat of mockers, in the place of wickedness. Because in the house of the Lord is salvation, is perfection, (laughs) is glory and bliss. So brothers and sisters, maybe it isn't a prayer of testing and trying, but it is a prayer and a conversation that we can have with God to be able to say, I am your servant. I am your child. Thank you for your mercies and your grace. I'll walk in your ways. Help me, O Lord, to walk in your ways. To the glory of your holy name. Amen.